welcome to the plateau colony she stinks man it stinks kill it's vile that is rank oh oh ammonia organic piss that is not flash jesus wept Okay, so things I need for this trip. First and foremost, the Leica Q2. Beautiful camera. We'll take the camera with its 28 mm f1.7 lens. We'll take the polarizing filter. That's just a circular polarizer. Always need a spare battery for the camera just in case. We'll take a spare battery for the GoPro 9, which I'm filming on at the moment. We will obviously take the GoPro. We'll take the chest harness for the GoPro. It's going to be a hot day, so we definitely, definitely need plenty of water. I'll probably take two bottles of this. Let's aim to give the drone a fly. So this is the uh, the Mini Pro 3, and that's the controller. That, guys, is all that we're taking on this trip. Now, after many failed attempts to get to the Gannett Colony at Cape Kidnappers, walking along the beachfront here, I'm always stopping and hanging about, taking my time, photographing this amazing geology. And then I realized that, shit, I've run out of time. I can't actually make it to the colony, so uh, so I always turn back. This time, however, I bought myself a $100 mountain bike that's going to get me to the colony along the beach, and hopefully, no delays. Here we go. Now, if you checked out my last video where I shot with the Voigtlander Besser 2 film camera, I also shot with a Leica Q2. Although I was more than happy with the Besser 2 photographs, the Leica Q2 man it did the business and it's just no fuss quick and easy so uh, we're traveling light today we've just got the Leica Q2 I was going to bring the drone but I decided against it we've got quite a bit of wind out here today and obviously heading to the Gannett colony they possibly see it as a threat and take it out big time So I'm now past the furthest point that I've ever been on this walk or this ride today and just look at the geology here, man it's mind blowing. Morning. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> now just looking back here, we've got these rock formations. They're like little roads that lead right out to the cliffs on the horizon. A little bit better light, that's going to be a shot on the way back. And obviously the tide's going out now, so that'll expose more of these rock formations I would imagine. And when it does, on the way back we'll have that, because that looks... I'm going to get a shot now. What the hell? This is just becoming, fast becoming, my favourite place of all time. I mean, look at this. As a landscape, seascape photographer, you've got everything. You've got incredible rock formations, you've got leading lines, you've got wee pinnacles. Oh, what more do you want? Yeah, go on then, why not? So we're going to shoot this F11. ISO 100. Let's see what that gives us. One one hundredth of a second, which is fine for this. Hand hold it, no issue whatsoever.
So this is Black Reef Yannick Colony. How cool is this? I didn't realise you could get so close. Well, the wind this side is pretty ferocious. Woo. But there you have it, guys. The hook of Maui. Beautiful. Absolutely amazing. It's, take, it's only taken me 20 years to get here, but I'm here now and I'm loving it. Is this not the most incredible place? Okay, I think we're going to head back down to Black Reef, which is not too far from here. You can just see it on the horizon there. Rocks covered in white gannets. And I think we're going to hang about there for a while, try and make a few nice photographs. 28 millimeter, so I'm not going to get too close to the gannets. Uh, hopefully, they might sort of fly towards me. Now, I don't know if you're getting any of this audio, guys, because it is so windy down here. It's blowing a fierce gale. The light's coming in and out, so I'm just hanging about a bit and getting some shots using these rocks here as a leading line out to the hook of Maui. And it's looking pretty spectacular. We've got a couple of people out there gathering kaimoana and they're just adding to the shot, showing a little bit of scale. Kaimoana is food of the sea, seafood. Basically, kai is food, moana is the sea. So kaimoana, seafood. Now, it's damn near impossible to keep everything still and keep the wind out of my face. Man, she's fierce. The weather's really closing in now. Well, I've not got perfectly beautiful golden light, I've got some quite moody skies coming through. That's a hell of a bonus. Far, far better than a boring blue sky. We're getting a nice bit of light on the rocks. And we've got some moody skies behind. Beautiful conditions. Apart from this bloody wind. And I like how on the left hand side of this shot you've got those leading line rocks and then just on the right hand side just below you've got the pebbles big boulders on the beach and it just sort of breaks it up and gives an idea of the geology down here all right i've decided make a dash for the top colony the top gannet colony which is probably a 30 minutes walk up the hills no bikes up here unfortunately, so uh, I'm on my legs again. Welcome to the Plateau Colony. She stinks, man it stinks, fucking hell it's vile. That is rank. Oh, oh, ammonia. Gannet piss. That is not flash. Jesus, wet. Fucking <sighs> hell. Hey Bill. This is freaking amazing, this. <laughs> 20 years, 20 years I've never been to the Gannets. 
it won't be 20 years again mate this is just incredible this is insane I've never been much of a bird fancier ornithologist that sort of stuff but uh, man this is cool I've got a good mate I've got a good mate who gets down here oh man look at that look at that I don't know if you can see that from here let's have a look look at that that's another gannet colony down there on the rocks this is just insanely beautiful oh another gannet colony down there right on the shoreline stunning what a stunning place incredible place I can't tell you how amazing this is especially now that I've got downwind and the smells <laughs> and the smells away from me so that's good Cape Kidnappers how am I welcome to the plateau colony oh what a stink Whew. Cape Kidnappers lighthouse not as impressive as Castle Point that is for sure but it's there enjoyed that really really enjoyed that right now I've got to get myself back down to the beach find my bike and get pedaling what a day what an absolute cracking day I think I'm some nice photographs as well it's hard to say I'm looking on the back of the camera and they look okay everything seems to be sharp I've taken quite a lot of photographs where's the track I don't even know where the track is now plenty hell all right let's just uh, push on a bit and uh, we'll see you back down the beach
See you guys, have a good one. See you mate. Absolutely majestic. So how do you begin to get this in a shot and put some context in it? In the distance I can hear another quad bike. So my thinking is, when the quad bike goes by, I get a few shots just to put these mountains, these cliffs in perspective because they are absolutely, they're just towering over the beach. They're not quad bikes, they're motorbikes. That's okay. Beautiful. Right, now we're gonna get moving. Those cliffs are so imposing. Just need a little earthquake and I'm toast. You all good, mate? All good? Oh, what is it? Puncture? Have you got a puncture? No, 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 it's um, the steering rod. Yeah. Somebody's on the way, you say? Yeah. There's a whole big group of us. Yeah, I saw you going down, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so once they know they're one's, they're one's there. One's behind, yeah, they'll, come they'll come back. If I see them, I'll send them back. Oh, I, I don't think I'll catch them though. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Yeah. See you, mate. <laughs> 